Welcome to the Hottie Toddy Reader Spotlight, brought to you by University Libraries. I'm Ashley Dees, and today I have with me Dr. John Holloman. Dr. Holloman is the Director of Graduate Studies in the School of Education. Dr. Holloman, we're really happy to have you with us today. Can you tell us what book you're recommending? Sure. Ashley, I'd like to recommend a book that I found very interesting. It's entitled, Who Owns the Ice House? Eight Lessons, Eight Life Lessons from an Unlikely Entrepreneur, written by Clifton Talbert. And I find the book just very, very interesting. Uh, Mr. Talbert is a Mississippi native. Oh, that's really nice. Um, we like Mississippi authors. So tell us a little bit about the book and why you found it so interesting. Well, I find this book interesting because uh, as a, a native Mississippian, um, Mr. Talbert really writes uh, in sort of a uh, a mode of remembrance of his uncle Cleve, and uh, the book is set in the childhood home of uh, Mr. Talbert in Glen Allen, Mississippi, right in the heart of uh, the Delta, and it chronicles his uncle Cleve, who, as the the subtitle of this book, an unlikely entrepreneur. Um, Uncle Cleve was a middle-aged, uh, uh, elderly gentleman that doesn't really capture the mold of what most people think of as a, a successful entrepreneur. Uh, and uh, it, it simply addresses these life lessons that all of us, and I think particularly our students, uh, faculty, and staff, all of us can benefit from. Uh, being persistent and having that stick with itness that uh, we see evident in uh, Uncle Cleve that's written here in the book. Great. So tell our faculty, staff, and students why they should read this book. Well, the book I think is pertinent, Who Owns the Ice House, because uh, I'm told that it is uh, has been selected as a common read experience at several uh, universities. Mr. Talbert was here uh, in our, on our campus back here in the spring of 16. I had an opportunity to meet him. The McLean Institute brought him here uh, as, a, as a guest speaker. And uh, Mr. Talbert was describing that Kent State University had adopted this as a freshman year common read experience. And I think it's just a compelling story. Um, many times, I think people believe that a successful businessman needs to be sort of out of what we would say central casting. You know, somebody that's very buttoned down, uh, somebody who has a lot of uh, uh, influential elite uh, contacts in the business community uh, or, or, or the bank setting community. And rather, but, but, but Uncle Cleve captures the essence of somebody that's hardworking, um, has stick with itness. There's a term that we're seeing in the educational literature now called grit. G-R-I-T, grit. And as I read this book, I think of uh, Uncle Cleve having grit, stick with it, and pers uh, persistence. So I don't think it's only pertinent to somebody uh, choosing business as a major. I think any, any major, uh, the humanities, education, engineering, anybody could benefit from uh, this, these lessons of persistence and creativity. And that was the essence of this Uncle Cleve and what Mr. Talbert was talking about when he was here this past spring, that this is something that can be pertinent to all of us. Uh, young students in their collegiate years, uh, faculty, staff, any of us uh, in, in terms of life lessons uh, for uh, uh, creativity and persistence. We may not all be entrepreneurs in the sense that we're trying to commercialize a product or service, but um, as the book suggests, all of us could benefit from these lessons of creativity. And, and as I think I mentioned earlier, this was taking place in um, uh, the, the heart of the Mississippi Delta at a time, the 1960s, where an African-American gentleman uh, didn't have the kind of opportunities that uh, he'd be afforded now. So I think it's a very inspirational story. Uh, it takes place in our home state, and uh, I, I found it very inspirational. It sounds like a really good read. Now I want to go read it. Um, so if you would like to read Who Owns the Ice House, you can check out a copy from the J.D. Williams Library. Thank you so much for joining us.